So today, we are going to talk about something that sucks. Now, generally, we don't want to really invest a whole lot of time in things that suck, unless it's your inability to maintain a relationship because you're emotionally unavailable. In which case, talking about that sucking is very valuable and important. We're here today to talk about something else that sucks really bad. So, what is a velocity stack? Let's find out. In this box is some of the most important suck sucky sucking things you will ever need on a motorcycle. We're going to open this and find out what's inside to find out what really sucks. Remember kids, never cut towards yourself, always towards a friend or loved one. So we open this box and we have in it some things. There are these things, three things. If you if look at them, they are turny little thready things. These are little tiny set screws. We also have a tiny Allen key for the tiny set screws. We have a stainless screen and we have a velocity stack. Velocity stack is meant to do one thing, like a vacuum, it's so what a velocity stack does is it increases the velocity at which air enters the venturi of your carburetor. So the venturi in your carburetor is just inside the mouth. So if the air is flowing this way into your carb, you have the mouth, the carb here. From here in is a venturi. It's kind of a horn shape. And the venturi is where you'll find your slide. You may find a butterfly right behind that. In the case of most Honda Shadows, that's a, there's a butterfly right there. The venturi helps him create an emulsification out of the fuel and the air. The engine's drawing air through the carburetor, through the Venturi. Fuel gets sucked up into the Venturi through various ports and jets. That's what your jetting is for. And that goes into the engine. In the engine that gets ignited by the spark plugs and then the gnomes carry everything out to your pipes. They make silly sounds out of trumpets inside the pipes. And they have Wang Doodles with them, which are actually bringing the bass notes of the exhaust into play. That's why people think reversion waves are really important because you have to take care of the small gnomes in there. If you don't feed them with reversion waves, then your bike will basically blow up. That's the science of, of motorcycles though. Now let's take a look at the technical aspects of this velocity stack. This is made of some kind of metal. Not sure what kind, but it looks very nice and pretty. I'm just kidding guys. This is aluminum. It's a polished aluminum stack. We do have these available in multiple finishes and materials. This is a polished aluminum. We have black and brass as well available in well finishes. You have a lovely little laser etched logo right here, the old Tetra logo. You will find two ball mill rings around the base of our velocity stacks and three set screws. Now the set screws in some applications, especially on dual carbs, you may not be able to access every single screw. That's okay. Not a big deal. Included with the Velocity Stack is this stainless steel screen. Proper way to install these is to put the screen on the card first and press the stack over the screen until it seats firmly. If you look inside this stack, there is actually a lip that prevents the stacks from smashing down to something that you don't want to smash down onto. Nice little lip right there. We include three set screws already, or grub screws, whatever you want to call them, in the Velocity Stack. We include three extra because we just love you so much and we know that you're probably autistic and not going to use a locking agent and right down the road and you're going to go home and you go, oh my god my velocity stack just fell off well it's at that point you will learn a valuable lesson called how to use loctite when you get your velocity stack pull those set screws out put a tiny bit of loctite in there you want to use blue you want to use red you want to use purple whatever you fucking want it's cool and then set your velocity stack up you do have some spares we, we include these because we understand shit happens not because if you are autistic, uh, God bless you, join the team. But, you know, we just wanna make sure you guys are taken care. Do you like motorcycle parts? I like motorcycle parts. When I want motorcycle parts, I don't go to the sex shop. <laughs> no, I go to shop tjbc.com. They don't have dildos, just motorcycle parts. I have here this handy dandy carburetor. This is a single carb off of a pre-2004 VT600. And I can tell you it's pre-2004 because in 2004 they added what's called a TPS, a throttle positioning sensor, which is a little port right here, a thing that has a little tail coming off it with a plug. If you have a 2004 and up VT600, you may see that on your carburetor. This is all cleaned up nice and pretty, but this is how the velocity stack sits on the carburetor. You can see here from below, from the side, Vanna, show on the other side. And you can see the screen is set up in there. Doesn't stick out on the bottom, super clean. So there's a velocity stack. This is our 
black, gloss black anodized single card velocity stack on a single card from a VT600. In a moment, you're going to see the velocity stack in action on a VT600. And I'm going to answer a few questions I've had from some people over the years. One, will it fit my... Oh, no, no, that's what I want to start. Can you make these for my ears? The question is, yes, we can. Why don't we? Because then you'll probably try to put it on your... So, we're not going to make these as, as uh, gauges or tunnels or plugs, whatever you want to call them. But they are really useful for improving the performance of your motorcycle. That's why we made them. The screen... How many microns is the screen? F off. I used to know this off the top of my head, and if someone needs it or their grandmother's going to die, I'll figure it out. At this point, these, this is super fine. You can barely see through it. You put sand in here, and no sand goes through. This will stop anything big enough to do any serious damage to your carburetor. You riding down the road, suck in bigger things through your goddamn mouth and nose, then this is gonna let into your bike. So some people are like, well, I'm gonna put some pantyhose over the carburetor, over the stack too. Why? Stop. Just stop. There's no need. If you've seen a couple Harleys with velocity stacks, you see a lot of them will do a flat design where the stack is pinched on. And I've seen that fail more times than once. Homeboy on Instagram, Chris Diamore, super great dude, stopped by the shop. He had a velocity stack on his, on his Sporty and the screen was actually getting sucked into the Venturi. So the screen would have been bent inwards because the screen is a flat piece of mesh material and the velocity stack goes onto it and then bolts go in. So they're relying on the pressure of that to hold it on. Not gonna cut it. That's why we designed them this way. So this goes over the screen. It's held on positively. There's no way it can get sucked into your carburetor. Installing the velocity stack is very simple, very easy. You take off the air cleaner, which is not so easy, and then you just push this on the carb. After using the locking agent, press it on, and there you go. You do have to tune. We get questions all the time. If I change my intake and exhaust, do I need to tune? Oh, by the way, the bike runs like shit pops on diesel all the time. Well, sir, you just answered your own question. Yes, anytime you change your intake or exhaust, you definitely want to tune your carburetor. If you have an electronic fuel injection or PGMFI, I think, I forget what Honda calls it, but something like that, electronic fuel injection, basically, that's Honda's version, then you'll need to map the computer. There are brands out there, such as Cobra and Dynatech, that make fuel controllers for the EFI bikes. Unfortunately, they will not sell them to us in California. If you do decide to get a velocity stack, you will need to tune. A velocity stack can work very well with your stock exhaust or one of our beautiful sets of exhaust. If you don't tune, the bike will probably run like We offer performance tuning kits as well as performance rebuild kits. A velocity stack is considered a performance upgrade for your carburetor or your bike. So you're not going to want to get a stock tuning kit because there won't be the correct type of jets in it designed to work with the velocity stack. If you've never taken the carb off your bike, that these Honda Shadows, they're 20 plus years old now. What you pull off the bike is likely not going to go on the bike the same way. Carb boot. Basically goes between the carburetor on the back side here. It's a rubber boot right here and attaches to your uh, intake manifold. That is toast. If you've never touched the carb, pulled it off, do not skip go, do not click $200, get another intake boot. We sell them on shoptjbc.com. You need to make sure this seals because that rubber's so hard it's formed. It works great right now. Maybe your bike runs, right? You want to get a lossy stack? Cool. You pull it out. The rubber is not going to go back to shape. It's going to be bent out of shape and stay there. So when you put the carb back in, it's all f***ed up. So you definitely want to replace the intake boot. You definitely want to tune. If you get a velocity stack and it's an old bike, never touch the carb, don't just get a performance tuning kit. I highly suggest the performance rebuild kit. It's going to come with all the fun little stuff you see on this carb right here, not the, not the slide cover but you have stainless hardware for everything. You've got a extended handle mix screw. You have all the jets, the float bowl, everything you're gonna need to soup this puppy up and get ready for your velocity stack. So ladies and gentlemen, in short, a velocity stack is a wonderful choice for your motorcycle. Even if you live on a pretty fucking dusty road or something, it's fine. Honestly, not a lot of dust is going to hit it. The only time I've ever seen an issue with a velocity stack is in pouring rain that was being blown this way into the side of my bike, and I had a little bit of sputtering. Bike didn't die, didn't stall, just a little bit of sputtering here and there. And I could see water being pushed into the velocity stack while I'm riding. If you spoon dirt into the velocity stack, you take shovels and throw dirt against the side of your bike by the shovel full, yes, you could have an issue. But in normal conditions, riding in all kinds of weather, riding down dirt roads, riding on the street, a velocity stack is gonna have no problem. There's no issue there at all. 
it is going to lean the mixture out on your motorcycle. So, as mentioned previously, make sure you tune properly. Let's check out the velocity stack on a real bike. It's a real bike, woo! I'm so proud of you. You're learning so many new things. That's right. Today you learned what a velocity stack was. Wasn't that fun? Now, you like this video. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys tinker with your bikes and you tune your bikes, so let us know what you thought about the video in the comments. Wouldn't that just peachy? Thanks again. You want some motorcycle parts? Get them at shoptjbc.com. Do you